Hey guys, welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. And Pete is still away for the show, but we've got a little bit of a speed round for you guys. Speed <laughs> round! Uh, you want to start? Sure. All right. uh, Thor, Man of War, one shot. Uh, this is great. Some fraction uh, writing of Thor. It's a... Uh, the second story, I think, is a little bit more successful. We get to see um, the reason why Thor was originally banished to Earth for a time, uh, which is a nice filling in the blank. Uh, it's not essential reading, but if you like Thor, pick it up. Teen Titans uh, number 65. There is nothing I like less in comics than storylines whose sole purpose is to give a character a new costume. <laughs> really... Annoying. Uh, uh, your turn. It's great. It's like playing dress up. Guardians of the Galaxy number seven. I think it's take four issues for that. <laughs> well, they get gloves. Right, right, right. Yeah. 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 Guardians of the Galaxy number seven. I love this comic. And finally, we get to see the original Guardians of the Galaxy show up in here and fight and then die. It was exciting and fantastic. It's a great, great, excellent series. So good. Definitely pick it up. Cool. Uh, Secret Invasion in Humans number four. I've been okay on the series up until this issue, which was totally great. Uh, it was very surprising, really fun. Black Bolt is really badass in here. And I love the fact that every single Inhumans miniseries means something to the characters. I love their, it's almost like they have their own like arc, their own little universe, and yeah, it's all been well, really well written. I was completely, completely surprised. Because I thought this would be, oh, we'll fight some scrolls and then nothing will happen. But yeah. it really means something for the characters. It's cool. It's really cool that they're doing that. I don't yeah. wonder where it'll end up going. Uh, the Kingdom Special uh, one-shot. Someday, this story arc um, will end. Uh, I don't know if I'll still be alive when it does, but it will eventually. I Well, they promised that it's going to end with the last page of this. Yeah, with two more issues. Yeah, so I really like, there's a thing at the end where it's like, next issue, God's secret reveal. And yeah. I was like, cool, I remember when we first <laughs> found out about God back when I was five years old. Yeah, I was I was playing kickball, I think, at uh, Paul V. Moore uh, High School, Junior um, High. I know this is a little jumping ahead, but please comment below and let us know where you were when you first found out about God's secret. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Uh, what is, uh, anyway, the issue is it's pretty good, and we're yeah. starting to finally see some things happening, so that's good. If you haven't been reading it, then... It's, it's, we, it's really weird because we make fun of it a lot. It's very good. It's yeah. just ridiculous that it's been going on it's, this long. It's very long. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman, number 26. This is not good, and it really hurts me a little bit because uh, I like Gail Simone, and I like Gail Simone on Wonder Woman, but bringing in a generic 90s-type super baddie called Genocide who comes in and kicks Wonder Woman's ass, and that's how we know that he's really bad. It's the just, name Genocide is bad. Yeah, that's the thing. It's very, very 90s to me. And his yeah. costume is very 90s, and it's just... It's I, it's unfortunate. Um, that's all. You it? hate the 90s. Uh, everybody hates yeah. the 90s. Not me. That's when I first started reading Kingdom Come. Hmm. Uh, Daredevil... Oh, Daredevil, the Man Without Fear, number 113. Uh, Lady Bullseye stuff happening. It's nice to see... Um, Brubaker bringing uh, Daredevil back into the mainstream a little bit. We get to hear a little bit about the Scroll Invasion. Well, one line about the Scroll Invasion in here. Um, and Michael Lark's art continues to be fantastic. Yeah. If you like this art, pick up a series called Terminal City. It was done by Vertigo back in the 90s, which uh, is excellent. Uh, it's probably bad. It came from the 90s. Uh, push number two by our friend Mark Bernardin. Um, this is a tie-in to the upcoming movie Push that's coming out in February. Your favorite Dakota fanning movie. Very exciting. <laughs> It's going to be your favorite. Oh, man. Uh, this is actually surprisingly fun. It's really enjoyable. Uh, I was not expecting that from um, for many reasons. But uh, basically, it's a heroes-like take on powers. They're all working for a government agency. But everything that is wrong with heroes is right with push. Oh, wow. So uh, I recommend picking this up. Fun time. Uh, Legion of Superheroes number 48. Well, when a story starts to stall, why don't you have some more Legion tryouts? And boy, do they do that, and boy, does it continue to Do you know what terrible. the Legion of Superheroes needs? More characters. Yeah, they just keep throwing more characters in. Great. This series is terrible, and it only gives me hope that someday someone will start writing the Legion. Who's doing the art in this? Press Monopoly. Monopoly. And the art is good, yeah. and it's nice to see the Legion drawn uh, this way, and they're kind of young and cartoony, as they're supposed to be. But the story is just terrible. Mm. And last but not least, uh, Runaways number four. I don't know what is wrong with this series right now. I think yeah. part of it might be that it's moving much too slowly. There's not a lot going on. A lot of information is repeated over and over again. Yeah. In this issue. The dialogue is still very good, though. There's some funny 
Point it's, uh, uh, you know, Ray Moses' art is great and yeah. perfect for the title. Terry Moore is a very good writer, but I, don't, I just don't think it's gelling. I don't think he is writing the characters right, uh, with the exception of Princess Powerful, uh, who is very funny and enjoyable. Yeah. But they just don't feel like deferring characters, and you could have told this entire story in one, maybe two issues, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's just unnecessary, and it's unfortunate um, that I have to say that out loud, because I would like <laughs> Runaways for, to keep going. Yeah, you but I would actually require say <laughs> to say that out loud. If you have a question, you can write us at thecomicbookclub at yahoo.com. Please comment below, upload your video responses, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, please, if you're ever in New York City on a Tuesday night... Uh, go out to the West Side Harbor and buy some drugs. No, 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 no. Uh, if you're out on a Tuesday night, you should go to the People's Improv Theater, 8 uh, p.m., come see our live show. Go to the harbor first and then come to the show. If you're alive. <laughs>